So welcome again to another how-to video here at Bristol Designs. Today we're going to cover a how to install these ARP head bolts on these early type engines from 1.6 to 1.9 diesel engines as well as the petrol engines up to 2 litre, 8 valves. So these are the ARP fasteners, the head stud kit for most VW uh, 1.9, 1.8 GTI 8 valve engines. Uh, they cover basically the Mark 1, the Mark 2 and the Mark 3 engines. So this is what it looks like. As you can see, you should first thing you should check is if you've got 10. Here's 10 head bolts. So see if you've got 10 studs, 10 nuts and 10 washers. So the kit is complete. This is a standard head bolt. As you can see the thread. And as you can see on this stud, slightly bit longer, but that's not a problem. But also the threads are different. This is the, the top, the, the bit with the shoulder is the bit that goes into the block. Now these come kind of oiled, so just make sure uh, when you get them in to inspect them to make sure all the threads are not, not being damaged. That's quite important, so they go in. The next thing you need to do is clean the block. So we put some gloves on now. Because if you don't have an air blower, it can be quite complicated to uh, or people don't know how to clean because you do need to clean the threads from oil and water because then you will get something called thread lock where it's kind of gone in and you've got a pocket of water there and it's under stress. Uh, it boils and, and it's not good. It puts pressure on, on, on the stud. So we come over here to the, to the block. So this is the block. So with a clean cloth, you know, also if you don't have a, a, a tap or die set, you know, I just, I just clean the bolt and just run, run the bolt through the thread a few times. Uh, if you do have water and oil in it, it will start to, to kind of come up, which is important as well because you don't want that situation to happen when you've got the head gasket on, you put the studs in and this oil just comes out. Uh, in this case, that isn't the case because we're using studs so you can see, but you just literally just run it through and make sure, do it to each one, all the way down. Because normally you wouldn't go, the bolt wouldn't go that far anyway. So you've, you know, you're cleaning all, all the thread all the way to the end. So basically you you continue through as you saw, you just clean them. And if you need to, you do it two or three times in the same one. It's a bit time consuming, but it's all about attention to detail with engine building. So yeah, I'll do another one so you guys can see, but it's pretty self-explanatory. So that's what you do, you basically just run them through and make sure there's no resistance. So coming back over here to the bench. Next thing I recommend, as well as ARP recommends, is to give these a clean and to take this, uh, this oil that's on them. I just tend to use, they say you use soap and water. I'll just use uh, a brake cleaner. Just dab some on a cloth. And just give them a, a wipe good furrow wipe each one of them you see the it's kind of engineering oil I think they call it that's on here so yeah just give them a good clean so I'll continue this with all of them you just need to do the studs you don't need to do the nuts or anything So there we have all 10 are clean. So now we'll take these over to the block and we'll screw them into the block. What you do is just tear this off. I like to use a small brush and what we'll do is we'll screw them in to the block one at a time. Uh, so you put, you have to put this uh, ARP lube, so this, this is a messy job, but this is probably the easiest way to not get too, too dirty. I just do one at a time. So you just you know be generous with it, make sure it's coated all the way around.
and that's it, hand tight. And you just literally continue the process with all, all 10 of them. So, state, so to recap, stage one, we have cleaned the surface of the block. We've cleaned and run through the head bolts on the threads on all 10, uh, three or four times, clean them down, make sure there's no liquid or rust or oil in, or coolant in there. We've then cleaned the studs down and we've greased up the threads that go into the block. We've made sure the dowel's in place. Now we're ready for the gasket. Because this head had been uh, skimmed as well as port and polished, uh, we've got a three with the diesels. You have different sizes, so you've got a two, a one, and obviously a three. This is the three, the thickest one. Uh, it's just a matter of just pin it on, make sure it goes the dial, holds it into place. Okay, so next thing to go on now will be obviously the cylinder head, which we're just going to slide on. So here's the head. It's been uh, put and polished, all new valve seals and stuff, valve guides. So I'm just going to carry this over now and carefully place it onto here. So be careful not to scratch the head, so it should be kind of straightforward. There we go. Perfect. So now we're going to fit the washers. We're gonna to have to grease the washers on both sides. So we'll do the same again with a little brush and the ARP uh, assembly lube. Brush. This is the messy bit. So it's good to have a, a tissue at hand because you will get, you do need to coat these. You don't have to go nuts. Just a nice even coating. on both sides. The other, I'll just fast forward this now and do the other eight. Okay, so this is the last one. The reason why we put this assembly lube on the washers and on the nuts and on the threads is so that the friction of when you're torquing it, the torque doesn't get consumed by the friction of the washer with the nut, with the head. So you're taking, the, you minimize that friction. So when you're actually putting that torque on, you're actually putting it onto the, onto the clamping force. You're not using that, that you know, that torque getting used up in, as friction when you go to tighten it. So now we're going to do the same with the nuts. We're going to uh, lubricate the nuts from here. I like to uh, lubricate with the brush, the top of, uh, well, the threads as much as I can. So we do the same again with the nuts. With the brush, get it in there as much as you can. And just start in the middle. And what you need is a 14 mil 12 point socket is the size. And now I'll fast forward 
doing the rest of them. Okay, so this is the last one. So now what you do is, is the normal VW uh, the tightening sequence, which is tightening and then going across in that sequence. So you work your way from the middle outwards. I've had this for a few years. The reason why I've gone for this one, as you can see, it's a non-ratchet head one. So it's really, really accurate. So I've set this to the settings that they recommend. Okay, so here we are at the block. So we're gonna start. And so you have to repeat this sequence three times. So we're done. Okay guys, so there you have it. I just showed you a step-by-step -step, walkthrough on how to install these ARP bolts safely and correctly and to get, so you have no blown head gaskets hopefully by running over two bark boosts. Uh, this is what this engine is going to be running around 1.8 to 2 bar boost or spiking at 2 bar and settling at uh, about 1.8. But if you want to see more in this engine, watch the up and coming videos as well as some of the old videos. Uh, thanks for watching, subscribe and support the channel. Thank you.